Good day and welcome to uh, Football Manager 2021 and uh, welcome to a Community Challenge uh, put up by uh, The Athletics in Macintosh. Uh, so we're going to jump straight into a game and uh, we'll explain what the challenge is in a moment. Uh, so we are going League One Sunderland and we are doing League 2 and above, playable, obviously, otherwise we'd have an issue. Uh, large day space because they haven't specified and I've got an okay computer. Uh, we are not adding key staff and we're not using the in-game editor, otherwise everything else is switched off. Uh, late pre-season, no. Let's go, let's go early pre-season. I think I'll need all the help I can get. We'll start that. Cool. Um, yeah, so we're going to create a new manager. Um, I'm Cosabob, so uh, let's use that alias. Because uh, usually I've got a manager that's got good coaching badges but no um, playing experience. Because uh, I imagine that um, I'd normally go into a job using my playing experience, which is negligible. I play football like two, three times a week, but I am not good at it. Not really. I mean, I'll, I'll hold my own. But yeah. By the way, it's sweltering. It is so hot. So yeah, let's do this. Let's edit this profile. Cause a bob. Uh, these things are true. I am experienced. Um, these things are true. Probably heavier these days. Um, you can see this guy doesn't look like this guy. Um, okay, suit and tie. I'm okay with this. Managerial style. Let's knock that off. Based on Sunderland. Motivator. Yep. And just minor tweaking. Um, let's make myself an amazing defensive coach. And let's Let's just leave that as is. Okay. Sunderland hi Bob. Cosa Bob. Sunderland Sland. Let's do this. Eight grand a week. Love it. Let's go. Um, club history. Wow. Six top divisions. I didn't think they had six. That's fantastic. Two FA Cups. Five championships, or you know, second division, or you know, second tier. One third tier. Let's hope we add to that this season, and a single community shield. Okay, so the first thing we should probably do is check out how the, good the team is. Rather than looking at individuals, let's just go into the team report and see what's going on. Now, our goalkeepers are above average at goalkeeping. Um, so handling, fantastic. Reflexes, good. And everything else apart from kicking is above average. Fine, good, that's um, nice. Uh, let's have a look at our defenders doing defensive things. Um, kind of middle of the road. Uh, we are okay at marking. Um, we are quicker than most, which is nice. I like being quick. So they can quick tackle and mark. Um, we can't head as much, so a higher line perhaps. Midfield doing midfieldery things. Uh, we are not a team working team. Apparently, um, almost one of the worst, and we make bad decisions. But everything else is kind of on par or higher, so that's fine. Not really outstanding. And in attack, we have. Good anticipation, good heading and jumping, interesting, and finishing, uh, but we are slow, it would seem. Ah, get rid of these little pop-ups. Uh, yep, yeah, so we're slow, but good anticipatory things. Okay, uh, physically, as a team, we're pretty physical. Mentally, as a team, we're doing okay, and technically, as a team, 
All right, so basically we are what we think we are, which is an okay team. Um, I wouldn't mind looking at our, our attackers. Technically quite good. Mentally. Haven't even looked. Our striker seems to be leading the way mentally. And yeah, slow. Okay. Okay, so we've got a bit of a plan for the team. So um, this is kind of what we're going with. Um, before we do that, let's have a look at what we're not going with. Uh, we have asked Denver Hume to go and find himself another club. Um, yeah, he's one of three centimeters uh, or left backs, and he's just he's okay. He's just he's not going to cut it. So do one anyway. Um, and then we've also got Stobson, Embleton, Connolly and Will Grigg that are on loans that we can't recall. So let's just imagine they don't exist. You're loan listed, where you're loan listed. We don't like you. Anyway, moving on. Senior squad. So, uh, Romy Matthews, upon looking at him, is probably slightly better than Lee Burge, but they can have a proper fight for that position. Got two half decent goalkeepers. I'm happy to roll with them for the season. Um, Luke, who we don't want to go, he's decent. Um, great personality. Uh, he is wanted, so I've asked for one million. So if they come in, that's kind of what we'll start thinking about. Uh, two centre backs. So John Flanagan. Um, He's quick and decent and tall, and we like him. And then we've got Bailey Wright, who's right foot, doesn't care which side he's on, and he's probably our best centre back. So, uh, yeah, he's right. And we've got Jake Voskins, our lone guy, quick and to the point. Grad Let better uh, for this level will probably be fantastic. Sticking him in the hole um, should be good. Max power, box to box. Um, yeah, you can shoot from distance, should be decent. Josh Gowan, good mental player, good physicals enough. Technicals not fantastic. Uh, Ada McGeady, he's wanted. I'll happily let him go for a quarter of a million because um, the money's on is huge. Um, but he is technical, so he'll be decent. Jordan Jones probably is not our best choice. I want to see what he's like. I think he'll be kind of explosive. In fact, I think O'Brien should be our, our first choice left winger. This could all change. But um, on the left, tries tricks. Do you cut inside? Was it Maguire that I was thinking of? It was Maguire. So Chris Maguire uh, runs the ball off and cuts inside from the wing. He's got a lot of good mentals and technicals. So yeah, we've got options on that side anyway. Um, Jack Diamond, I kind of like as as a backup option. Uh, strikers Ross Stewart is good not world beating and Charlie is basically a light version of him uh, so the team we're going with is going to look like this um, wing back support maybe going attacking against teams that we're supposed to beat um, Onin oh, um, just backing up here being a bit more solid with max power roaming a bit and McGeady doing his thing. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of the plan there. Uh, but it leads us to believe that we haven't got much. I mean, Carl Winchester is a good box-to-box -box sort of backup. He's got the flair, he runs the ball, and he's got the right stats for that. So yeah, that's fine. We've got um, 
him some wing options, but I'd like to bring in better wingers, another centre mid, and a fast striker. So that's the kind of plan. Okay, so we've just spent about an hour or more on um, making our first inroads into um, player searches. Uh, we've offered trials to Josh Clark, who's on a free. Um, yeah, ex Brentford player, not played much, but played it in the championship. Uh, he's got some pace and flair. Let's see what he's like if he comes on a trial. And Nathan Dyer, who I think might actually be a really good shout. Um, so, yeah, those two hopefully will get them on a trial and we'll find out what they're actually about. Maybe bring them in as our right wing option. Uh, and I've gone out and offered um, contracts to a bunch of scouts, director of football, physio, 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 sports scientist, terminated our goalkeeping coach, who had sevens for his goalkeeping uh, coaching, and our normal coach, who's just pure useless. Um, the other staff on the books are okay. So we've got a fitness coach who can do a job, a performance analyst who is okay, and our system manager is half decent. So yeah, we'll keep those guys, bring in all the other people, fill up these and uh, yeah, we'll see where we go from there. Our team leaders, we've got Grant, Aiden, and Max as team leaders. Now, I was looking to force out Aiden McGeady because of how much he's on, but force him out of the club would be a bad idea because then he'll get unhappy if he doesn't go and that could be bad. Go up as champions. Um automatic promotion I'm gonna go just win automatic now let's let's go convince champions let's aim high hurt offended I'm going for it I am gonna be a wave hand on the convincing Let's disagree with some of these guys. We've got a mixed dressing room. Insulted, reserved, it's gonna be fine. Um, no gesture. No gesture. Let's just respect people. Still think that was too ambitious. Let's just do that. Everyone's satisfied with that. Okay. Okay, everyone's happy with that. It's a great response. Cool. Okay, well, what's going on here? Split dressing room. Always difficult. I'd rather split the dressing room and be positive. Let's have a look at the squad morale now. That's fine. That's fine. We're okay with that. Let's meet the media. Let's hope I have a better time with the media. Let's attend this. Quite a lot of people here. Yeah, let's just say something randomly neutral. What do you think of the squad? They're shite. Um... Yeah, mutual trust, let's do that. Gotta be positive about the fans. Let's earn their trust. Aim for the stars, I'm not saying aim for the stars. Um, Long-term success, yeah, let's say that. Okay, so we are getting some progress. We've now finally got a full staff. Um, we are the best coaching team, best scouting team, and best physio team in the league, which we should be because we are the biggest club in League One. 
Um, so yeah, that's kind of come along quite nicely. Uh, what hasn't come along nicely is our friendlies. We got absolutely smashed by Krasnodar, who are a better team than us, but uh, still, uh, we got thumped. So that wasn't great. Um, no one played well. Um, yeah, a few key passes behind us, and uh, and we really struggled. So yeah, what we've done today is get a whole new staff, and that's worked out nicely. Um, we have made one tactic, which probably will need fine tuning, and we have played uh, two games and failed to win. And we've loaned in a bunch of guys. Oh, one thing that we did try and do, we go to our shortlist. Um, we tried to sign Nathan Dyer, and he wanted 17 grand a week. Because this, this is good. This is the player I want on the team. Um, the two friendly games, he looked good. Uh, one half of a contract, he wanted like 17 grand a week. I can offer six and a half grand a week. Uh, and it didn't go well so that's not happening um, our next most exciting player that we're after is probably someone like Jukovic he'll be fun I like him um, but once again he's on 10 grand a week so I, unless he's unhappy I don't think he's going to come to us uh, also the asking price is a bit more than what we can afford so it's going to be difficult uh, and we've got some, some guys on loan as well, it might be people we can bring in. Oh, it looks like Chris Brunt is fully scouted. Um, he is slow, but I like a perfectionist, I think that's cool. So what we could do, he's essentially just the same as Grant Ledbetter. Where are you, Grant? A um, bit more physical, but slower. Yeah. I think my last thing we'll do to sign off for the day is try and offer him a contract. Regular starter, let's be honest here. He will be. So I think that's cool. He'll say yes. Of course he will. Cool, okay, well hopefully we'll get him in, that'll sort out our midfield. We'll have a three-man midfield. Um, I'll back up right back and do a job there. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Cool, okay, let's do that. All right, um, it's not looking great, but I think we're gonna do great in the long run. Anyway, this is sort of first attempt of this and we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I'll catch you further down the road, perhaps at the end of the next transfer window. Anyway, ciao for now. Bye!